okay. Okay, so uh, uh, we're here today as uh, part of a uh, student uh, torch relay across Canada to uh, address the uh, critical shortage of organ and tissue donations. Canada has one of the lowest rates in the entire world, and every day somebody on that waiting list is dying. Now we can change that. All we have to do is get this message out to Canadians from coast to coast. And the message is very simple. Please become an organ donor and then take that second step to share your wish with your family. So students have been chosen to uh, carry the torch from coast to coast because we feel that with the students' passion and enthusiasm, they're going to effectively reach the community. Kids usually do. And uh, by having Lisa carry the uh, torch today, we hope that everybody in Thunder Bay hears this message about becoming an organ donor. Now, I would like to introduce uh, Councillor Joel, if you would like to say a few sure. words. Uh, thank you, George. Uh, this is about my, my third time in, in meeting George with his work on the, uh, the, the organs and, and the tissue. A very important uh, project, and I just support everything that George has said that uh, people in Thunder Bay should really seriously consider in signing over their donor card and uh, uh, get this thing going. It's very important to uh, to do this and save lives. And really appreciate of welcoming the uh, the students here to the city hall. And I know that they will have an impact on the uh, on the citizens. And uh, best wishes to all of you. Thank you very much, Councilor. Now, I also want to add, uh, we're traveling on a very dismal uh, budget. I'm actually a one-man show on the road. And if, if we didn't get help from people in the community, I wouldn't be able to do this. So I would like to thank uh, Mike, who's representing the uh, Best Western. Uh, thank you very much. He's helping out with accommodations while I'm here in uh, Thunder Bay. Uh, so with that, uh, Lisa, did you want to say something? Uh, how you're feeling carrying that famous torch? It was blessed by uh, Pope John Paul II and uh -huh. carried by millions of people, including students like yourself uh, from St. John's. I'm very excited and very honored to be carrying this today. And uh, I really think it's an important message, uh, organ donation, and uh, I hope it goes <laughs> hope it goes well. So we'll, we'll do good. Okay, so let's do the honors, and we're going to light the torch. If, uh, Councilor, if you can hold the torch as well, and I'll use my best, uh, what it, what's this called, the cupping, uh, cupping yeah. thing situation. Well, I might have to go to the corner to do this. Unless uh, we can. Okay. All you have to do is just catch one bit of that. There we go. Okay. It sticks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ryan, which way are we gonna uh, start walking then? From, we're gonna go down these steps? We'll straight down the steps and we'll be going Who's Lisa left? Smith? Left. Taking the left. Oh, we'll give you some us. time if you want to get some shots. Can we, uh, we do interviews? Sure, before sure. You guys go? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yep, okay. Yep. Thank you so Thank much. You very much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thanks, George. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go here. So you're up. One man. <laughs> yeah. One person. I don't risk getting screwed. Hey, first things first, just to okay. It's uh, George Marcello. M-A-R-C-E-L-L-O. Well, it's part of our student torch relay across Canada. Uh, what we've organized is hundreds of students from uh, St. John's uh, all the way to Victoria. And, and each uh, community that we're going through, and there's over 100, uh, students are being selected to carry the uh, famous torch of uh, life, which was blessed by Pope John Paul II, and carried by literally millions of people in, in an effort 
to address Canada's critical shortage of organ and tissue donations. Canada has one of the worst records in the world. Every day somebody is dying and we can change that. You know, it, it's up to us to change it, the public. And having students become the ambassadors for this issue, uh, we feel that they're going to have a, a really strong impact on the uh, community. And in this case, Lisa, the uh, Student Torch Champion, we're hoping that she will uh, inspire everybody in Thunder Bay to become an organ donor. Uh, ten years now. This is our sixth campaign, um, and uh, I've, I've gone across 500 communities in the past ten years, and and so I've had, I've, I've been in the trenches. I, I know what it's like, and, and I know Canadians can, can rise to the occasion. All we have to do is get the message out. That's why we chose students as the ambassadors. Yeah, why did you choose to, to get to do that? Besides uh, being insane? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I, I received a liver transplant uh, 11 years ago and, and literally I was told I had two days left to live. My funeral arrangements were already made and, and so when, when that call came in that there was a liver available and I woke up after the uh, operation, uh, I had a new life and, and I knew how bad this situation was so I just devoted the rest of my life to trying to change, do my part, trying to change the situation and I'm getting a little help here. We're getting fantastic response. There, literally, I, I mean this. There isn't one person that's against what we're doing. You know, uh, the, the, the whole idea is how do we effectively reach the whole nation? That that's the key. So how can we do that? We figure by having students represent the uh, community, we're, we're going to have hundreds of students from St. John's through 100 communities right across Canada uh, become one big voice for organ donations. The nation's going to listen to the kids. I know that. I know that. I'm, I'm, I'm betting my house on it. What kind of, um, what kind of sacrifices have you made uh, to do this year? Well, this year it was very hard, very tough. I had to mortgage my house. Uh, and I'm, at, I'm, in, I'm on the brink of losing the house, actually. So it's been really, really tough. But when you believe in something, you know, that that not going to stand in my way like if, if that's going to be the case that's going to be the case I believe in this so much I know we can change this and and, and I know we will and when, when is uh, we're gonna actually finish uh, June 20th and we're actually arriving in none of it on June 20th when we reach Victoria we're climbing up north white horse yellow knife and then finishing in eagle none of it June 20th nope. right, Maybe can I talk to you really quick? Sure. Do you want the torch? No, no, hold it. Oh, look, look, it's hold fine. It. Okay, Amanda. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Did you get our website? Uh, it might. Triple it? W S uh, S O S four thousand dot com. Oh yeah, it's on that uh, press release. Okay, that good. Week, right. Good. Yeah, so, uh, and then um, I'm gonna meet you somewhere. You guys are going down Donaldson, then Selkirk. Is that what you yes. said? Okay. We'll give you some time. Well, you could start now oh, if, you, you, if you're you ready to go. go. I'm gonna get shots. You're leaving, and then I'm going to get shots. Yeah, yeah, somewhere down the street. Park might be a good. Yeah, right. Selkirk, right by the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're okay with the camera? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm not um, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just going to need this. Just to 